Hello. Yep, I'm back. Yes, I'm trying to stay on schedule. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I thought I'd play with Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed. I came in with one of my boxes. And luckily, it doesn't have a mirror to blind you. But it's very just neutral. Very. It's, it's kind of low-key for what I usually do, but it's pretty, and, and sometimes I have to do low-key just because it would not necessarily always be a good thing to be running at full speed. <clears throat> It just works that way. Sometimes people expect you to act your age and not your shoe size. Um, some people think that, you know, if you're going to make a statement in front of a large group of people, you shouldn't necessarily dress like you're going to a club. I don't get that. It's like I try to conform sometimes, just a little, as little as possible, but just a little. Anyway, started my next class, and it is, see, I've got the English major and I've got two minors running. Um, I've got a psychology minor running and a business writer minor running. The class I'm currently in is part of the business writing program for the minor. And it's on doing feature articles. So, you know, we're talking about stuff that would run in a newspaper or in a magazine that is truth-based, not fiction. Um, kind of like, you know, it could be anything from a ladies' magazine with a this really happened kind of story to a scientific magazine with here's a paper review to an evening news. <clears throat> In this case, I've already kind of tagged my final project and it's going to be on what it's like to be on YouTube. And even though I don't have the largest channel on by anybody's imagination, I mean, I've barely broken 200. And I've been on here since 2018. And 2018 and 2019, I was cranking out all kinds of different videos and stuff. It still took me to 2020 just to break 200. I know it, I'm a little bit odd. And sometimes I talk about things that make some people unhappy. But, you know, there you go. I'm doing me. And they. YouTube creator channel on here is my target audience because we also have to pick our target audience and why we picked it. And the YouTube creator channel is what I picked because there are already lots of other um, 
YouTuber channel suggestion and what it's like stories on there. So people go there looking for that sort of thing. And, you know, I figured that would probably be a great location to do the publication of the article. And I figured, what the heck, that's my target audience. So that's now been applied to my class. Now, I don't know if the professor is going to want me to do a video for the final, or if I can just do whatever I do for the video for the video and post it and do the rest of do the uh, the basically the transcript as paper and submit the link in case he wants to see the video. So we'll see where this goes. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep doing me on here. It The class runs about eight weeks, so I've got a little time to work on it. We will see how it all goes. Really? Wow! I don't know if you'll be able to hear this once I do the uh, alterations on the sound levels and stuff, but that's my son and his son, and they're debating as to where and when he's going to eat dinner. He says he wants to go to Grandma, but then he comes back downstairs. And then we go back and forth. And then he wants to come back downstairs where he is. As much as he is cute, cute is not a help when you're trying to fix dinner. And he wants to be up somebody's backside because he likes being with but it makes it difficult to cook when you're constantly having to like step either over or around him in a small kitchen. And he'll like, you'll think he's one spot and you'll turn around and he's like right up your backside again and you're tripping over him. Which, yeah, can kind of be disconcerting. I'm really liking the colors in this palette. They're subtle, but there's a lot of pigment in what I'm seeing. It's really, really pretty. Little man is now running back upstairs, panting and puffing, just like a cartoon. Going, see, I'm running fast. <laughs> Very silly. Very silly. of this bright idea I'm having about the classwork. 
Do you think it would make a good article? Let me know. This is going to be as quickly done as I can be, just because I've got other stuff I need to do. I've actually done all my homework already. A whole week's work is, is in. Which is not bad for the first one. Now, if you've got breakfast in bed pal. First thing I put in the crease is forehead kisses. And then I put lazy baby back over this way. And then I started picking up pajamas. that I'm putting in here. Now all the doggies are going to talk to each other. I've been doing this thing of where I'm starting to think of a new puppy because my doggies are on the older side been thinking about, you know, a puppy, because that sometimes helps kind of revitalize the older dogs a little bit, and there's also I don't want to leave whichever dog is behind the first one to go, trying to get used to a new doggy after losing the other doggy. You know, it's kind of more of a buffer so that they're already familiar with the new face, so it's not as big of a jolt. kind of thing. Make it easier on a little old selves. But that also leaves them a both of them with a familiar color. kind of help through the loss of one of them. It's not like any of them are like on the doorway waiting to go. And neither one of them is sick, so it's not a big rush, but I'm starting, like I said, I'm starting to think along the lines. We'll see what happens. I'm trying to find. I keep looking at some because I want a small dog. I'm trying to find a small dog that's going to stay a small dog is a little more tricky when you're trying to do it through rescue. Because you don't always know 
they don't always know what the dogs really are. My dog Lolly is a rescue and we were told she should stay small. Now when I say small I mean like biggest they get is about 15 pounds or so. When Lolly was a young adult she got to about 25 pounds and at this point in her age since she's heart retriever apparently she's somewhere close to 35 pounds because she got that retriever spread she got old. and you can't really encourage her to do a lot of walking because me and the old man can't do a lot of walking and she you know we, with the little Russell that we've got, he still wants to play. He's older by a year, but he still wants to play. And we can get him to chase the ball, either in the house or out in the yard. And he just runs till he's too tired to care. Lolly is not about that. She is not about that life. Okay, this one is French Doors. Going a bit purpley here. Purpley, purpley. Well, a lot of the color in the breakfast in bed has a good deal of purple. It's kind of binky purple. Because Forehead Kisses is kind of a dusty one. And then it starts getting more into the purples. Go. Yeah, I hear you. Anyway, now that I've gotten all this stuff, I already had my eyebrows done. And I've got a lot of my face on all ready just because it's summer and most of my face ends up being eh. put the serums on put a little extra moisturizer on and then slap down the sunscreen and once I get to that layer because the sunscreen's a little on the heavy side. It's the Neutrogena 100 in the cream for formula. Because it's a little on the heavy side, I don't really put anything else on. It's like I put a little concealer in a couple of places because of my spots, and a little cream blush, and a little cream bronzer, and off I go. So, I'll be right back. got some LA colors from Dollar Tree use this for the bronzer and I've got Wander Beauty from one of the boxes that I use this stuff this is called Sweet Talker from Wander's double date stack you can use it on your lips and your cheeks if you use it on your lips, they've also got a slicker on the bottom so that your mouth looks a little more lively because the 
a cheek bit does settle down to quite matte. So, you know, it's not all shiny and stuff. I used the AOA Studio Lure Highlighter. I've got that along here, kind of under here a little bit, up under here, on the tip of my itty bitty nose. I took some of the Boo and a View from the e Bakery. Ran it under. Super Gel Intense Eyeliner in green in the lower waterline. Don't know if you can see it. I didn't go ham. Um, where did I put it? There's the Elf Cream Liner in Teal Tees, AOA Studio Wink Fashion Color, Mascara in Blue, I've got a blue and a green. I want to get the purple, but that stays sold out. A little bit of the AOA Studio concealer on red spots and such. No powder. The only powder on my face is from Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed. And I gotta tell you, I have been wanting to lay hands on Beauty Bakery for a long time. When I got a chance to get a hold of it by way of a box, I leapt on it. Leapt. I've been seeing interesting things about the advert that got, got me so riled up that was from Beauty Bakery that Huda basically downright outright stole and I have never bought anything from Huda because of that. I have always wanted to lay hands to Beauty Bakery. It was not in my budget until this showed up on an animal and I snatched it and I snatched it good and I'm glad I did because I love the formula absolutely adoring. It's wonderful stuff. See? See? See how pretty? See how pretty? Anyway, I'm thrilled I finally got hold of it. In the meantime, let me know if you want me to try and do a video to put on the YouTube Creator channel based on my class project. Let me know if you want to see it. Let me know if you just want to hear the transcript of it. Um, mind your manners. Be nice to somebody. Wear your mask. Don't argue about it. No shoes. No shirt, no mask, no service. What that we're working hard to get past the mask restriction, okay? We really are. People are getting their vaccinations as much as we possibly can, as fast as we possibly can. A lot of the holdouts are doing it based on religious or or pseudoscience reasons. And there's some people you just cannot talk to. You just can't because they're not listening. If you have a chance and it's available, get your vaccine. I've got mine. I've had two shots of Moderna. I had a little reaction. Yeah. I'm fine. 
My husband had his two shots of Moderna. He had a little reaction. He's fine. We got this. I feel safer. I feel I'm safer to be around other people. Don't argue. It's not worth it. We are trying to save lives here. Keep your distance. No, really. Even if it's just a regular cold or flu, you don't want somebody sneezing on you or you sneezing on them. It's rude. Keep your distance. I ended up with pneumonia back in 1995 because working in a clinic, guy came back from a trip to Europe and sneezed all over me. I had turned away from doing his blood pressure and he sneezed and the back of my scrubs jacket was soaked. I ended up with a pneumonia that they were still trying to figure out what the hell and then he ended up giving me medication that at the time was restricted for HIV patients only because this bug was just out of their, their normal understanding. It was something they had to call back over to Europe and find out what the hell. So, yeah. And this was well before we had well before. Well, let's see, considering it was about, let's see, what was that, 20 years? 13 years? A bunch of years? A bunch of years. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family, take care of your friends, take care of your neighbors. I dare you to be nice to people. Dare ya. Be pleasant, be kind. Stop being such a grump. And if you're already doing that stuff, good on you. I still got no bail money for somebody who starts trouble that ain't needed to be started. Be good. <laughs>